Hi, we're back at Southern Motion here to talk to you about how to fix if you have an issue with your high leg power recliner. Now this one has power headrest and power recline, so you got two functions in there, but we can still show you how to fix it. So first thing that we talk about and all the things, well, maybe let's just say this is the 685 West End. That's the model. Now, if yours isn't that exact model, most likely what I'm about to tell you will still apply to you. So just for reference, so this is the 685 West End, but we're gonna still show you on a high leg recliner some of the things you need to look for. So number one is the power supply. So again, this one is because we're floating it out in the room, we're using a battery here. Uh, it's the same if you have a power supply. Your power supply most likely is gonna have a green light on it. Uh, if it's plugged into the wall, that's first thing you need to check is your power supply. Make sure there's not a, uh, uh, some kind of short in your wire. It's not kinked, something like that. It's not providing full power to the chair because if that's the case, you're out of business for sure. So you need to make sure you have your power supply in good working condition. And just because it has a green light, doesn't mean it's working. It's possible that it has a green light because it's providing minimal voltage, but not enough to supply the motors to the chair. Now in this particular chair, uh, the button control is actually on the inside. So it's the same button control in a lot of the chairs that we sell. Uh, the button controls here, it actually just has a little vanity plate right there that pops off. And if you pop off the vanity plate, it exposes two screws. Those two screws are what you would remove if you need to replace the control board. So the way that I kind of tell folks is, uh, if you know your power supply is good and neither of the motors work, so this one has power headrest and it has power leg and back. If neither of the power headrests or the power footrest is working, most likely it's your button control. So I would check your button control first uh, if you know your power supply is good. If your power supply is good and your button control is working, so say only the power headrest works but not the base works, or the base works and the power headrest doesn't work, there is a chance then that it's your your motors that are bad and we'll show you where the motors are so the way that you find your motors is you flip it up onto its end like this i just just unplug the battery flip it up here on its end like this and it's going to expose what we're talking about here so in this chair we have this motor now the difference in this motor is it has a clevis pin here and it has a clevis pin here and it's also just the difference in length we sell all the motors so whatever motor that you're looking for if you just want to send us a whole picture of this we can usually tell which motor that you need. Uh, there is on the back, it's really kind of hard to get to. If you want to get your phone, you can kind of get your phone, take a picture here, take a picture from here. There's a tag back here that'll tell us what uh, the model number is on your motor that we can replace. So if we get that too, you can also take a picture of this tag here, which tells you your model number, your serial number. If we know the model number, serial number, we can also tell you which motor you have. So like I said, this chair has two motors. This one's going to control the footrest and the back recline. But then also in here, a little bit more challenging to get to, but still doable. Up in here is your power headrest motor. Again, it's just a simple clevis pin on both sides. You pop out this uh, the side cutter pin here, and then the, the pin slides right out and the motor comes out. So it's actually a really simple, uh, easy fix in terms of how to get that out. And uh, really, uh, we can figure out any part you need so we can get your chair back in business. It might seem catastrophic, but we'll find the part that you need and we'll get your chair back working.